Hello, welcome back to the Dungeon of Bad Decisions. This is the 51st episode of Anna and Have to Explain Things. I'm your host, Anna, and this week's topic is weird slash fun magic items. Possibly part one. Might do another part. Who knows? We're going to talk today about weird slash fun magic items that I have encountered uh, in my time playing D&D and whatever. And a couple that I may or may not have just straight up made up. Uh, you'll just have to figure out which ones are which. So the first one is the Bag of Devouring. It's one of my personal favorites. It's kind of a classic. You know the Bag of Holding, the thing, the magical bag. You stick, you stick a thing in it, it holds a lot of things. You can only have 10 minutes of air for a medium-sized creature. Um, and if you stick one of those portable holes in there, you create like a interdimensional suck hole that of, of evil and you're all gonna die. Anyways, it's a whole thing. Um, the Bag of Devouring is the jackass version of the uh, Bag of Holding. It looks like a Bag of Holding. It pretends to be a Bag of Holding, but whatever you stick in there is just gone forever. Like, you stick something in there, it's you're never getting back. It's just gone. That thumping noise was my cat. Uh, number two is the deck of many things, which I have actually spoken about before, so I'm not really talk about it here. A uh, link to the episode is going to be in the little banner thingy somewhere above my head. Ooh. Number three is something that I don't actually know if it's a legit item. I've heard about it in like my like 2012 when I first started gaming. In a Pathfinder game, is the Spear of Backstabbing. It's entirely possible that uh, my DM at the time made it up. I don't know, but it's basically it's a cursed it's a cursed object. It's a spear. It looks like a plus one spear. It acts like a plus one master or spear. But every time you use it, there's a chance that it's just gonna whoop around and stab you in the back. Like, literally, it's just gonna, like, suddenly become super flexible and just... And you're dead. Or not dead, but at least very badly hurt. Um, I also read somewhere about an apparatus of Clarab, which looks like the apparatus of Qualish, I think? Except instead of it being a submarine, it's just, like, a giant mechanical crab. I don't know. In case you couldn't tell, I've done, like, zero research. Anyways, uh, another one. The, uh, Boots of Kleptomania. So, they basically act like boots that give you a bonus to your stealth. Um, like, Boots of Elven kind, I think. Um, but, and they do that, and you get a good bonus to your stealth. But, they're also cursed. So that, like, uh, once per day, uh, you have to, you're compelled to, you roll, like, a wisdom save. And you're compelled to, like, pick something's pocket. The pocket of whoever's nearest to you. Um, and that can get you into trouble, especially if you don't have a great slate of hand, because it only gives you bonus to your stealth and not to your dex overall. Another one is the Orb of Animal Capture. Uh, it's basically, it's a little, like, about the size of your hands, a little red and white orb. Uh, you use it, you hurl it at an, an, uh, cre an animal, uh, small-sized or smaller, small or tiny, um, and it captures it and holds it in stasis, um, and... Uh, basically how you, you can basically, you've got that animal bound to you. Um, you may fight for you, but I mean, it's small size and you've got like, it's probably like a squirrel. But basically you release it is, uh, you throw it at the ground and yell the animal's name slash species, whichever, if you named it. If you can't tell that's a Pokeball, then I'm very disappointed. As I literally just reskinned a Pokeball and stuck it into 5e. It's a rare item. That's everything for now! If you enjoyed this video, check out more content in the links in the description below for the Dungeon Bad Decisions Discord server, and my blog where I post quotes, anecdotes, and photos from the tabletop games I play in at the thedungeonofbaddecisions.tumblr.com. And as for my Patreon, special thanks again to Crunchy Chompy for being a Game Master's Nightmare, and to Paul, John, and Tark for being Average Adventurers. Uh, click here to check out the rest of the series, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Roll 20s, y'all!